A woman named Mary Lou Bruner is poised to win a seat on the Texas State Board of Education, and that should scare the shit out of you, because she is a complete and utter lunatic. So, if elected, Mediaite explains here, she claims she will, quote, promote conservative curriculum standards aligned with Texas values. All right, so... I'm just giving you a little appetizer here, giving a little taste of what you have to look forward to. Already that should be problematic. Imagine we did the opposite here. Imagine it was somebody in New York or California who says, you know, I will promote liberal or I will promote progressive curriculum standards aligned with California or New York values. What would the response be? Fox News would blow up, everybody would be angry. By the way, would I like that if somebody said, I'm here to promote liberal or progressive values? No, I don't want you to promote any kind of values, I want you to give the facts. The whole idea of setting a curriculum is to give data, give information, give facts. I'm not interested in having a progressive or liberal slant on the facts. I just want the facts. If the facts so happened to be in the camp of liberalism or progressivism, great. But the facts are the facts, they come first. Don't tell me up front, I'm going to give you a conservative curriculum. I'm going to give you a liberal curriculum. I just want a curriculum. I just want a factual curriculum. That's it. Information. That's what I care about. So already, like, what are you doing? A conservative curriculum? You're admitting that you're super biased, and that's a huge problem. It's talking about educating our kids, and you're saying, I'm biased, now vote for me. I'm biased. Incredible stuff. So, let's dig deeper. Here are some of her beliefs. She says, hey, uh, sex ed textbooks are, quote, inappropriate. Why? Because they contain uh, some pictures of nudity. She doesn't want to teach sex ed, because in order to teach sex ed, you have to talk about and look at drawings of male and female anatomy. That's scary stupid. Oh, are you deep in that repressed closet? How deep are you? How deep are you uh, repressing, repressing your sex drive when you're like, I can't have the kids see even a drawing of a penis or a vagina. No sex ed. And then, by the way, also... Recognize something here. What would happen as a result of this? Let's say we have that implemented. Unwanted pregnancies would go through the roof. STDs would go through the roof because you're not teaching safe sex. You're not teaching kids the stuff they need to know about sex. And then naturally, there's always an increase in all those societal ills related to it when you don't do the teaching. And then she'd come out later and say, oh, all these unwanted uh, kids are getting pregnant. But you're the one who set up the curriculum that led to that. Okay, more. She says, climate change is a, quote, government hoax. Texas State Board of Education. Texas State Board of Education. Climate change is a hoax. She says, Muslims should be banned from the U.S. Not big on that Constitution thing, are you? More. School shootings, quote, started after the school started teaching evolution. She's a, a, a tried and true creationist. Thinks, thinks the world is 6,000 years old. Thinks that Adam and Eve, you know, did their thing in the garden with the apple and the fucking talking snake. Texas State Board of Education. Board of Education. She thinks dinosaurs and humans live together. Dinosaurs died out 65 million years ago. Need I repeat that? 65 million years ago. She says, no, world's 6,000 years old, they live with us. And then she goes on to give theories as to why she thinks they went away. Well, you see, the flood, what had happened with the flood is... Noah's flood, of course, because a guy who lived to age 900 got every animal on a boat and had made them fuck, and they didn't eat each other, and they stayed alive. And somehow the climate for the polar bears was was the, equal to and okay with the climate with the, the lions, even though lions live in fucking super hot climates and polar bears need cold climates. But whatever, you know, science, it, it, it worked. Noah made it work, goddammit. God was helping. 
I'm st I still haven't even gotten to the craziest shit yet. Now, again, she school shootings happened because we started teaching evolution. I'm sure. I'm sure the school shootings have nothing to do with the fact that there's over 300 million guns in circulation in the U.S. No. What do you blame? Evolution. Uh, but she says the NWO, New World Order, wants to kill two-thirds of the world. So somehow she sprinkles in a little Alex Jonesism to her beliefs. And my favorite quote of hers, she says... President Obama has a soft spot for homosexuals because of the years he spent as a male prostitute in his 20s. Texas State Board of Education. She's like, yeah, Obama. He was a male prostitute, a gay prostitute in his 20s. Everybody knows that. It's common knowledge. I saw it on the internet somewhere. She even goes on to say, well, the reason why he was a male prostitute, he obviously had to suck dick for a living. How else was he going to afford his drugs? She got 49% in election. So she almost avoided a runoff. If she got 50%, she would have avoided a runoff election. Now there's a runoff election in Texas. She's almost certainly going to get the seat. <laughs> what a national embarrassment. Everybody who voted for her, shame. Shame on you. It's pathetic.